My name is Miss Maria. I am a teaching artist with Arts for Learning Miami. I teach visual arts and arts and crafts. In each one of my classes in this series, I will teach a different art activity. Visual arts and arts and crafts help develop creativity and critical thinking skills. We will be working with different materials, ideas, and tools to make great art. Let's get ready. Today we're going to be making a pop-up page with watercolor paper. Uh, it will involve 2D and 3D work. Very creative project. It's great for kindergarten through high school, but we're thinking kindergarten through fifth grade. For this activity, we're going to need um, a piece of watercolor paper. This is, uh, let's see, 18 by 12. And this piece is 9 by 12, which is half. And then we're going to need brushes. And we're going to need scissors, glue, white glue, and watercolor. Okay, today I'm going to show you the steps of, of making a pop-up page. If you make one page out of a book, you can always make a whole book. This is a pop-up page. This, when I close my page, it becomes nice and flat. And um, the mechanics of doing this can lead you to get all this decoration, but you need to have the po proper sequency. Just for like to show you that this, this little added feature, this is an accordion book that acts as a little bridge over the mode and you write a story in that. But I don't expect you to do this but I'm just gonna show you the construction of the pop-up page. Later on, you can make whatever you want. Okay, when you make a pop-up page, the formula for making a pop-up page is one whole sheet like this, and then the other part that you're gonna need is half of that sheet. So if you can see this, this is exactly half of my sheet. So you're gonna take this half and you're going to fold it in half. And I'm gonna put that over there because now I have to fold the big one in half. And that's exactly how I did my castle. And I use very thick uh, 140 weight watercolor paper because I love watercolor. So I'm gonna fold this in half. It takes a little bit of creasing so I'm gonna tap it here and tap it here and tap it here. And that's because this paper is very thick. You can make this with 90 weight paper just fine. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna open it up. So I have my crease. Then I'm gonna take my, this is my center part. I'm gonna take my center part and I'm gonna fold that about an inch or I like to say the tip of my thumbs and this is going to be what gets glued down so now I have this I'm gonna open it up and where you see the fold where you see the fold you're gonna take your scissors and right right over here where the fold is and where the fold that I made I'm gonna cut the letter V. I'm going to cut a piece and if you did this right, it's going to look, look like V for victory. See? There's a letter V. So then I'm going to take my letter V and I'm going to, and this, this was hard for me when I first, this is my first pop-up page. I don't know why I couldn't get it. I'm going to lay my paper like this and I'm going to find the center fold right there. And I'm going to lay my paper like that. So my cut is right on the fold. And then I'm going to lift that. And take my glue. And open my glue. And take my glue. And add the glue. Can I? You got to squeeze your glue. So I might have to open this because this glue is a little bit old. 
and I'm going to open it and use a brush, which is fine. We can do that. I'm going to glue here. See, sometimes in art, you have to like think quick on your feet. So I'm going to put glue on that little flap and I'm going to bring it back to the center and I'm going to press it down. And then I'm going to take my glue again and I'm going to put it right here on the other flap and press it down. Now I'm showing you how to do it, but if you're going to paint it, if you're going to paint it, if you're going to paint this, you need to, you know, cut your paper first and then paint it and then glue it. I'm just showing you how to do the gluing and the preparation. Just pretend that all this is painted. So I'm going to lay that over. And as you can see, there's a little piece that's sticking out. I'm going to cut that. I'm going to cut that. And so now it disappeared. So now what's going to happen is and this might not be completely glue. When I open this up, that whole piece is going to pop right up. Now, of course, I would have painted whatever I wanted here, like an orchard, or I would do an ocean, or I would do like stars, or I would do my border, but I would do that, but this is the configuration. Now, you don't have to make your pop-up page this big. You can make it this big. And remember that I said, you need a whole piece. And then you're gonna need half of that piece, see? For my center part. And so this is half, and this is my whole piece. So my, my little pop-up page is gonna be a little smaller. And this is good because if I did a bunch of these and glued them together, I could make a pop-up book which are a lot of fun. So here's my other set, my other center piece. Notice that it's small because it's half of a small piece. And I do the same thing. I fold it. I fold it in the middle. I cut my V. And then I have this. And then I do the same thing I did with the other one. I line it up and I glue it and I cut my little flap over here and then this would be like this so like I would have that like that okay I'm going to show you some examples of kids of children's work that um, they follow the directions and they did wonderful wonderful work this is from one of the centers in Homestead and this was the work of I would see I would think like a fourth grader and they did a smaller piece and they used a lot of watercolor techniques. I think in one of my other videos, I showed you how to use the salt, and this is what the salt does. So this is a very nice piece. Now this pop-up, the person didn't do all these little extra cuts, so his pages are a little bit um, coming out. But this is beautiful. It's it's the up the opposite way, and it's a beautiful rainbow on a blue sky. And when we close it up, it's just flat. This one's very old, very, very old, like me. But this one has all the levers, all, all these extra pieces that we put that you need to have. Uh, when you put pieces in front, they need to be at the same angle that your ca castle or your building is. So this has a fence. And this has a castle. I know that you all like castles. And then I think I'm going to show you two more. This is absolutely beautiful. And this is done with tempera paint and some specialty paint. And I think this was, this is a door. I think this was supposed to be a door. But um, just absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> and they, they painted the outside. And the last one is very nice as well. This is fly me to the moon. They, they copied my border, which is easy. You just make it with a width of the ruler all around, and then you can add patterns and stars. 
and they did the moon they did a moon and in, in a night sky so <clears throat> all these could become really wonderful pages for wonderful stories and um, I hope that you if you have any questions um, let's see if you can probably email or something or go on the page and, and ask but um, they they make a great uh, card they make a great art they make a great project because you can do anything with this you can do a science fair project and do everything all your pages with the atmosphere I had a student that made a book on um, through all kinds of bird uh, prehistoric birds so he had every bird that he could find was in his project so I hope you enjoy the instructions and I hope you try it out and um, and enjoy doing art. I had a great time working with you today and I hope you come back to do art with Arts for Learning Miami and Miss Maria. Don't forget to ask a parent or guardian to share pictures or videos of your project with A4L Miami and use the hashtag A4L at home on Facebook Instagram or Twitter.